For this project, you will need an Arduino, a breadboard, push button, potentiometer, an LCD screen, 10K ohms resistor, 220 ohms resistor, and jumper wires. Take the breadboard and attach an LED on the breadboard. Connect the positive side of the breadboard to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino using a jumper wire. Connect the negative side of the breadboard to the ground pin on the Arduino using a jumper wire. Attach a button on the breadboard. Connect the right end of the button to the positive side of the breadboard using a jumper wire. Connect the 10K ohms resistor to the left end of the button. Connect the other end of the 10K ohms resistor to the negative side of the breadboard using a jumper wire. Attach a potentiometer. Connect the left end of the potentiometer to the positive side of the breadboard using a jumper wire. Connect the right end of the potentiometer to the negative side of the breadboard using a jumper wire. Connect the middle end of the potentiometer to V0, which is the third pin from the left of the LCD display using a jumper wire. Connect VSS, which is the first pin from the left of the LCD display to the negative side of the breadboard using a jumper wire. Connect the VDD, which is the second pin from the left of the LCD display to the positive side of the breadboard using a jumper wire. Connect the RS which is the fourth pin from the left of the LCD display to the Arduino digital pin 12 using a jumper wire. Connect the RW, which is the fifth pin from the left of the LCD display to the negative side of the breadboard using a jumper wire. Connect the E, which is the sixth pin from the left of the LCD display to Arduino digital pin 11 using a jumper wire. Connect the D4, which is the sixth pin from the right of the LCD display to Arduino digital pin 5 using a jumper wire. Connect the D5, which is the 5th pin from the right of the LCD display to Arduino digital pin 4 using the jumper wire. Connect the D6, which is the 4th pin from the right of the LCD display to Arduino digital pin 3 using a jumper wire. Connect the D7, which is the 3rd pin from the right of the LCD display to Arduino digital pin 2 using a jumper wire. Attach the 220 ohms resistor on the breadboard. One end of the resistor should be connected to the positive side of the breadboard using a jumper wire if necessary. Connect the A, which is the second pin from the right of the LCD display, to the other end of the resistor using a jumper wire. Connect the K, which is the first pin from the right of the LCD display, to the negative side of the breadboard using a jumper wire. Connect the right end of the button to digital pin 6 using a jumper wire. Open the Arduino software and create a new file. Include the liquid crystal library in your code. Assign all the pins connected with the LCD. These represent the numbers on the LCD. Assign variables for the button, button states and the door state. Set up the LCD display and button. The first line sets the 6x2 pixels of the LCD screen. Set the button as an input since it is used to control the door. The third line of the code prints the press the button line on the first line of the LCD. Move the cursor to the second line. The code prints the phrase to lock the door on the second line of the LCD. Read the button value to see if it is pressed or not pressed. Write code to check if the button is pressed. Write code to clear the LCD. Print that the door is locked on the LCD if the button is pressed and change the state of the door to 1. Print that the door is unlocked on the LCD screen if the button is pressed again and change the state of the door back to 0. Change the button state. Connect Arduino to your computer using the USA to B cable. Go to Tools, Select Ports, and select Arduino. Compile your code by selecting the check button and if you have any errors, fix them. If your program has no errors, the console window will say that your program has no errors. Upload the code by pressing the upload button. Press the button to change the display on the LCD. Press it again to change the display. 